APC is planning to sabotage our national convention, P2P alleges. The All Progressives Congress, APC, has been accused by the People's Democratic Party, PDP, of plotting to sabotage its upcoming national convention, Premium Times reports. The opposition party made its claims in a statement released by its spokesperson, Prince Deo and I, on Friday, November 24. Nage. Com notes that the P2P spokesman stated that the ruling party had postponed its own convention in order to monitor that of the opposition party. A DI further alleged that part of the APC's strategy was to arrest P2P leaders on what he described as trumped up charges of corruption. The statement read, We are not completely oblivious of the plans by the APC to sabotage our convention. Apart from the internal fighting within the APC, one of the reasons why the party postponed its national convention to next year was to enable it to monitor closely our convention with a view to destabilizing our party ahead of the 2019 general elections. The planned parallel convention is one of those ideas of the APC to create divisions amongst members of our party. It will be most unfortunate for members of our party to allow themselves to be used against the party especially in the light of our recent painful experience. The National Caretaker Committee is willing and ready to address all the concerns of our party members regarding the forthcoming national convention. Members should take advantage of our open-door policy to ventilate their opinions, concerns and grievances. We will not give room to anybody to find any excuse to sabotage the convention. We realize of course that there is little we can do to dissuade those who have decided to become paid agents of the ruling party. Part of the agenda of the APC to sabotage our convention and destabilize our party is the arrest of leaders of our party on Trump-up charges of corruption. We had cried out a few weeks ago that there was a list of about 50, 50, top leaders of our party earmarked by the ruling party for arrest and incarceration. The APC propagandists said we were crying wolf. Now we're being vindicated by the continuing and unrelenting arrest, intimidation and harassment of our top leaders. In the last one week, the former governor of Tyrab Estate, Mr. Abu Bakar Don Lati, and the former Senate President and Secretary to the Government of the Federation, SGF, Senator Enim Piasenim, two prominent members of our party were arrested by the anti-graft agency, the EFCC. This is apart from the five that were earlier arrested within the month of November. We don't know who will be next in the list. These are all part of the agenda of the APC to create an atmosphere of fear and insecurity around P2P members before and after the National Convention. It is also part of the overall strategy of the ruling party to turn Nigeria into a one-party state. We once again call on Nigerians and members of the international community to be vigilant to ensure that the APC does not institute full-blown dictatorship in the country. The only reason why the APC is hell-bent on killing the opposition in Nigeria is due to its non-performance and inability to deliver on its campaign promises. They have failed Nigerians and they know too well that they can no longer convince Nigerians to vote for them again in 2019. However, the P2P assured its members of a level playing field for all contestants, under the leadership of Senator Ahmed McCarthy. In a related development, Nage. 
Ecom previously reported that the crisis rocking the People's Democratic Party over the race for the national chairmanship of the party took a turn for the worse as threats of a parallel national convention have been muted in some quarters of the party. Some party stakeholders were reportedly displeased with what they considered as moves to impose a candidate as national chairman at the December 9 national convention.